presenting Dreamy Planets, starring Globy Earth, the Magic Planets, and featuring Dr. Noodles and Star Angel. Once upon a time, there was a kind old scientist named Dr. Noodles. One night, he was fast asleep. He had a dream that he was in a magic playground filled with toys. In the middle of the playground, he saw a cute building that looked like the Earth. The sign on the building read Globy's Clubhouse. As he stood in the playground looking around, he saw a beautiful angel who looked like a fairy tale princess. He said, Hello, can you tell me where I am? And the princess said, The land of dreams, and my name is Star Angel. Then she said, I know your name is Dr. Noodles, and you're a scientist that studies planets and stars. I also know that you dream about them, and that is why you're here. Tonight, any wish you make will be granted. Dr. Noodle said, Well, I don't know how my wish could be granted, Star Angel, because I have a really big wish. I would like to talk to the planets, and I know that planets don't talk. Well, don't be so sure, Dr. Noodles, replied Star Angel. If you believe in your dreams with all of your heart, your dreams can come true. Dr. Noodle said, Great, when can we start? She replied, Anytime you're ready, just remember that you have to believe in your dreams with all of your heart before you make your wish. Dr. Noodles closed his eyes and made his wish. He wished that he could meet the sun, and before he could say, Bingo, the sun was standing next to him. Dr. Noodles couldn't believe his eyes. He rubbed his eyes for a minute, and then he looked at the sun again. Then the sun said, My name is Susie Sun. I am the only star in your solar system. I am very bright and very hot and made up of hot gases. I'm like a big furnace that releases light and heat. People should not look directly at me because my bright light will hurt their eyes. I am so big that it would take a hundred and nine Earths, all lined up next to each other to fit across me. My magnetic energy holds all the planets in place to circle around me. It takes the Earth 365 days, or one year, to make a circle around me. Scientists call this an orbit. My light and energy flows through the whole solar system and far into the universe beyond. Without me, there would be no life on Earth. Dr. Noodle said, I'm amazed beyond words. He asked Star Angel, can I meet some of the planets now? She replied, of course. Dr. Noodle said, I would like to meet Mercury. It's the number one planet from the sun. Then, in the wink of an eye, Mercury was standing next to him. Mercury said, Hi, I'm Matty Mercury. I am the closest planet to the sun and the fastest planet in the solar system. I am so close to the sun that I get hotter than an oven during the day, about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Then my nights get very cold because my temperature drops to 300 degrees below zero. I am so fast that I circle the sun in just 88 Earth days. Dr. Noodle said, This is amazing! My next wish is to meet Venus, the number two planet from the sun. And Venus appeared. She was beautiful, all wrapped up in lace and glitter. She spoke very softly. Hello, my name is Vanessa Venus. I am beautiful because I am dressed in lovely clouds. They are like a big fluffy white coat that holds in the heat from the sun. I rotate very slowly. One day on Venus is 245 days on the Earth, and I orbit the sun every 225 Earth days. Dr. Noodle said, I'm very excited about my next wish. 
It's for the number three planet from the sun. It's the Earth. In the wink of an eye, the Earth was standing next to him and said, Hello, my name is Globy Earth. Welcome to my magic playground. Dr. Noodle said, Thank you, Globy. I'm very happy to be here. I want to know all about life on planet Earth. Globy said, As you know, I am home to all kinds of living things, including you, Dr. Noodles. I'm close, but not too close to the sun, which makes the temperatures on Earth just right. Earth has water to drink and air to breathe, and you know that you need air and water to live. I can tell you about every person and every animal and every living thing that has ever been on the Earth since the first flickering of the sun's light. I can tell you about the natural wonders of the Earth and every past civilization. I can even tell you about the fish and the other creatures in the vast oceans. I can also tell you about the solar system and how the sun and the planets work together as one big family. Dr. Noodles told Star Angel, Next I wish for the moon. It's so close to the Earth. Immediately, the moon was standing next to them. The moon said, My name is Mikey Moon. I stay close to the Earth all the time. I orbit the Earth every 28 days while the Earth and I orbit the Sun every 365 days. Everyone on Earth knows me. They even sing songs about me. Astronauts have come to see me and walked on my surface. They put an American flag on me and one time they brought a rover car and drove it around on me. Did you know that I control the ocean tides on your planet? I am usually visible at night because the sun shines its light on me and I reflect it to shine on the Earth. I make it possible at night for people and little creatures to see. You may think that my shape changes, but I am perfectly round. It only looks like I change because the sun's light shines differently on me as the Earth and I circle around the sun. Dr. Noodles was so excited. He hurried on to Mars, the number four planet from the sun. Mars was standing next to Dr. Noodles in a flash. He was a very cute little drummer boy. He said, My name is Marty Mars. Some people call me the Red Planet. I am a planet that has big sandstorms and many volcanoes. The sandstorms are so big that they cover the entire planet all at once. Some people think that there has been life on Mars, but I am keeping the answer to that a secret for now. One of my days is a little longer than one of Earth's days, but it takes me about twice as long to orbit the sun. It takes 365 days for the Earth and 730 Earth days for me. I know that scientists are hoping to send astronauts to visit me someday. When they do, it will take them about seven months traveling at rocket speeds of about 25,000 miles per hour to reach me. NASA placed two robots on Mars named Opportunity and Spirit. The robots collected rocks and other samples to send information back to Earth. I have two moons to keep me company. Phobos is the closest moon, and Diemos is the farthest moon. Next was Jupiter, the number five planet from the sun. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter greeted them. My name is Jules Jupiter. I am the king of planets. I am old and wise. I wear a regal coat and a crown of 63 moons. My winds are so strong that they make me look like I have stripes. 
I am not solid like some of the other planets and moons. I am made of gases, and my winds push the gases around me with a force many times stronger than a hurricane on Earth. Star Angel said, Dr. Noodles, I am happy that you're having fun. Which planet do you want to meet next? That would be Saturn, planet number six, replied Dr. Noodles. In the wink of an eye, Saturn was standing next to them. Hello, my name is Siggy Saturn. I decorate myself with pretty rings that sparkle like glitter. My rings glitter because they're made of water and ice that circle very quickly around my planet. I have 30 moons. Some of my moons are small and hide in my rings and others are big like Jupiter's. My largest moon is Titan. Titan is bigger than the planet Mercury. It takes 30 Earth years for me to make one orbit around the sun. Ah shucks! Like Jupiter, I'm also a gaseous planet and my stripes are caused by very strong winds. Golly! Dr. Noodle said, The number seven planet from the sun is Uranus. Unlike all the other planets that spin through space, Uranus lies on its side and it rolls through space as it orbits around the sun. Then suddenly, Uranus appeared before them. He looked a little like a clown dressed in bright clothes. In a giggly voice, he said, Hi, my name is Yuri Uranus. I am a long way from the sun. I have four seasons like the Earth, but each of my seasons is 20 Earth years long. School vacation on my planet would last 20 years. I am a gaseous planet and I have rings and many moons. It takes me 84 Earth years to make one orbit circling around the sun. The clouds around me are some of the brightest clouds in the solar system, which makes me very colorful. Dr. Noodle said, well, we are up to planet number eight, Neptune, and Neptune appeared. Dr. Noodles thought Neptune looked like a crowned goddess. Neptune said, Hello, my name is Nikki Neptune. I am blue like a beautiful sea floating in space. I am a gaseous planet like Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus, and I have very fast winds. Sometimes I am the farthest planet from the sun because my orbit takes me far away from the sun. It takes 165 Earth years for me to make one orbit around the sun. The daylight in each of my summers lasts 41 Earth years. Summer never gets dark. I have 13 moons and my biggest moon is Triton. Dr. Noodle said, next is Pluto. It used to be called the number nine planet from the sun. Within seconds, Pluto was standing right next to them. He is adorable. Pluto said, Thank you. My name is Peppy Pluto. I'm happy that you got to meet Susie's son and all of my planet friends. I'm very small and I'm so far away from the sun that I get really cold. From 1930 until 2006, scientists used to say that I was the farthest planet from the sun. Now they say I'm too small to be a planet. It would take a space rocket 25 Earth years to reach me if it was speeding through space at 25,000 miles per hour. I'm smaller than the Earth's moon and it takes me 248 years to orbit around the sun just one time. I have never been visited by a spacecraft from Earth. Star Angel told Dr. Noodles, I have a comet friend named Haley who travels to the distant parts of the solar system and returns to Earth's skies about every 75 Earth years. Her name is Haley Comet, 
She can tell you about things that are happening very far away in deep space. Star Angel blinked her eyes, and wham! Haley was standing next to them. Haley said, You can call me Haley Glow because I glow very brightly when I travel through space. I was discovered by Edmund Haley in 1705, about 306 years ago. I am made up of water, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and dust. I am the only comet that is clearly visible to the human eye from Earth. Most people may see me twice in their lifetime, while other comets only appear once in a thousand years. The last time I came by the Earth was in 1986. I will come back again in 2061, which is about 50 years from now. How old will you be? Dr. Noodles told Star Angel, Tonight has been the most amazing night of my life. May I come back to visit you again? Star Angel said, Of course, Dr. Noodles. That would be fun. Dr. Noodles said, With your help, I can bring amazing stories back to children all over the world. Then Star Angel and Dr. Noodles said farewell, and Dr. Noodles woke up from his dream. He knew now that he could do anything he wanted if he believed in himself and in his dreams. Dr. Noodles can hardly wait to meet with Globy and Star Angel again and bring new stories to children everywhere. <laughs>